and we are in vertical view one more time what is up everybody how are your faces cool so it is roughly evening time now on this wonderful Friday or whatever um, and you're probably I don't know wondering what I've been doing all day um, I actually I can't remember if I mentioned this at the end of the last vlog I just started up a new gig with uh, this like moving company I guess like known as a uh, as bellhops um it's essentially like a, a thing kind of like uber i guess but for for moving um so essentially these people just kind of like input a time and and date and how many people they need and then they contact a whole bunch of people like in the area that have like put in their availability that they're like good or whatever and then those people go and they move a house <laughs> or whatever so yeah, I signed up for that. That pay is apparently pretty good. Um, I'm going to get a fair amount of uh, fair amount of gigs, hopefully, because I'm going to be in and out like of drum drum corps, spring training, like in tour over like the the summer or whatever. Um, and yeah, that should be just one way to help kind of pay off everything, because you know I can't I can't go without income for for that long. <laughs> um, Cool. So yeah, I had my first move this morning, Wednesday afternoon, a little bit, um, and your boy tired. <laughs> your your boy really tired. Yeah, there was a fair amount of uh, heavy lifting involved in there. Um, so yeah, and of course, like once the sun came out, like it's it's the last day of May, so like you know, it was just miserable once the sun came out. Um, but yeah, no, it was good. Everyone was super cool. Everyone was super friendly. Um, I only destroyed like one part of my thumb. There's a, there, 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 there's a wound on there. You probably can't see it on there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is that. That's how I spent my entire morning. Um, I'm heading back to my apartment now. I'm gonna do some laundry. I'm gonna get all like cleaned up or whatever. Um, I do want to fill out an application real quick today. It's the last day and I've been really bad about trying to get this done. I really, if anything, should get it done in the next, like, I'll give myself an hour or, or whatever. Um, I'm going to try to apply to be on the uh, marching percussion committee for the Percussive Arts Society. Um, today is the last day to do that. Part of why I want to do it is that at the last PASIC in the meeting, and this was kind of what I alluded to in that video about them talking about stuff that I was excited about and want to be on board with or whatever, they talked a lot about kind of bringing front ensemble to the fore a little bit um, in kind of like clinics and festivals and like special events, that sort of thing, um, kind of getting it, giving it the same treatment as like the, you know, the battery with like their, their rudiments and like their free like tech and things or whatever. Um, and I think as someone who has done a fair amount of front ensemble by now and um, has also lived in the battery world and, and the concert world and especially as someone who, when he marched in the front ensemble, was play, played something that involved a lot of concert style like things or whatever, um, hopefully I can be of service in kind of bridging the gap between, well, everything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to fill out, I say application, there's not really an application, I just need to send my CV and like a letter of interest, but the letter of interest, I gotta write it. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so, so yeah, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna do that real quick and then clean everything up and then after that, I'm gonna pack um, because for the next week, like I'm, I'm heading out tonight to, to Bastrop um, because Genesis, uh, has been in, well, the percussion at least, has been in spring training for the past, like, week or whatever. Um, the full core is moving in tonight, and spring training officially begins, like, for realsies tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It should be fun. It should be a good time. I've been looking forward to kind of getting on the road again with, with people. Um, I'm kind of ready. I'm, I'm kind of ready for a little bit of, like, a, a break um, in terms of stuff or whatever. I just need to go and I just need to make some kids play better. Um, kids that I can actually like, you know, swear at. <laughs> that sounded really bad, didn't it? It's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I am for real looking forward to, to, to getting back there. So it should be fun. It should be good. I'm looking forward to like getting tan again, finally. Like, <laughs> um, and, and yeah, just 
generally having a good time. I'm almost back in my apartment, so I'm gonna sign off here just so I can get all of that done. I will see y'all in just a quick second. Sorry that these roads are bumpy as heck. And I forgot about all of these. They're all dirty. They're gonna be gone for a week. Crap. <laughs> all right, rough draft of the uh, letter of interest for that application done. It's gonna be and pretty much end up becoming like a final draft in just a second. Um, dishes are done, I'll put them away after I take that shower. The trash has been taken out. Um, now I just, I need to take that shower. I'm still like so gross from the move. Oh my God, it's it's getting so much later than I want it to be. The laundry's done though, so most of that is stuff that I'm pretty much just gonna like throw in a bag for the week anyway. So uh, fuck it, let's just go. <laughs> all right, I'm all clean and cleaned up up here so that I'm not like, you know, dying in the heat. Um, so I just have to do this real quick and then pack up for like roughly six days, put, put those away and then, um, and then, yeah. Oh, and then send, send that application and then I'll be good. I'm going to head on the road. It's, it's just like about like 628 now. My goal is to get on the road by 645. I think I can do that, especially if I, you know, cut some corners a little bit. Um, and packing for six days shouldn't be a big deal simply because, uh, well, uh, <laughs> it's drum corps and it's spring training, so it's not like I need to pack anything like special or whatever, just essentially a whole bunch of gym clothes. So that should be fun. That should be fun. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna speak through as much as I can next time you see me. I'm gonna be on the road. So um, yeah, let's go do that. All right, true to my word. Um, next time you saw me, I'm driving. Um, I couldn't quite keep my promise to myself. I ended up proofreading that email a few too many times and double checking like everything to make sure that I had everything all set before I went out the door and even then I didn't put away some of the dishes and I remember that like long after I was gone we're talking like no chance of getting back it's fine it's whatever they're clean so we'll just dry in the sink and then live there for a week it's fine it's cool it's chill um, and then yeah I, I sent the email I sent the application um, I, I hope I hope that goes somewhere. Um, like I mentioned a little bit er earlier, um, but now I can like elaborate on because I like have time or whatever. Um, I re really really want to join the marching band committee simply because I feel I can help improve their. Not, I guess relation isn't what I'm looking for. Um, but there, there are opportunities for, for front ensemble players. Right now, the marching community is doing an excellent job of kind of creating like events and clinics and special festivals for for marching percussion. But they all gear super heavily toward you know battery and drumline. They all gear heavily towards like snare, snare drum soloists, tenor soloists, that sort of thing, or whatever. And even though, like, the front ensemble can participate in these things, like, mar Marching Fest at PASIC, there's, like, it's pretty much, like, indoor, or whatever. Um, even though that's a thing, there isn't really anything kind of, like, marketed, like, for front ensemble players. And, um, at the last meeting, um, well, the, the last, like, PASIC meeting, at least, uh, back last November, um, it was brought up that, hey, we should, like, include front ensemble some of these things that we already have, and then, like, various things popped up regarding, uh, new, like, material, educational materials, and such as the, like, for, for front ensemble. So, essentially, I really want to help out with that. I really want to be able to just kind of dive in and be like, hey, I've done a lot in regards to front ensemble now and I've also had the experience of playing in a battery so like I think I have a unique perspective on all this or whatever yeah that, that was that was pretty much what my email said the application process is actually like surprisingly like easy like all you need to do is just send a letter of interest and a, and a CV slash resume but I sent the whole CV because you know it obviously goes into much more detail than the resume that's the point um, but yeah, um, yeah, that was all I needed to send, and then I spent the email kind of like patting on somebody and just be like, hey, I believe this, that sort of thing, or whatever. Um, but, but yeah, so I, I got that in. Today was the last day 
that you could submit that. Um, hopefully, they still like accept it and will like look at it or whatever. Um, but but yeah, I I feel good about that simply because I looked at the um, at the other members of the committee. I don't know who else has like applied or whatever, but I looked at the other members of the committee, and it's a whole lot of battery people, <laughs> a couple of, of front ensemble peeps, but I don't think they're kind of interested in doing you know, like, what, what I am, um, in, in, in that way, so I don't know, maybe I'm hopefully, like, just unique enough that they'll bring me on, let me kind of help out with, like, all of that, facilitate it, if you run it, who knows, definitely not me, <laughs> they hold all the cards right now, I've done my part, um, so yeah, I hope that works out for me, because I think that would be a really cool opportunity, and a really, I don't know, a really good way to help kind of ensure that, like, the thing that I've decided to kind of, like, teach for a living kind of gets, like, the, uh, the due respect it deserves because not everyone can do front ensemble, especially, especially, like, the, the upper echelons of front ensemble or whatever. I've actually started talking with a couple of schools and doing kind of like that, you know, that, like, second stage or whatever, um, of just like, hey, we got your application and slash resume. We really like it. Can you talk? That sort of thing or whatever. Um, there's two in particular that are starting to look really good. They would, they both pay really well. They're both with excellent programs and they're um, set up like rehearsal schedule wise so that I can easily do both and it will never conflict. We're talking like Monday is one group, Tuesday is another group, then Wednesday back to first group, Thursday back to, back to that thing. So those are two I'm leaning heavily on, and they'll allow me to stay in Houston. So um, that's kind of, that's become, even though I like really played with the idea of like moving to Dallas or whatever, I think my big draw right now is going to be staying in the Houston area, simply because I don't really want to deal with moving while like hopping in and out of like tour and that sort of thing or whatever. Um, so, so yeah, if I can find two, two or three jobs, slash one job still still trying to find one like at least like paraprofessional gig at least or whatever um if i can make that work then we will be golden um yeah it's exciting um i think that's pretty much it in terms of what's happened today and stuff that's recently ha happened i'm just over like halfway there now um uh, like i'm I want to say a quarter of the way down 71 or whatever. Um, well, like all of 71 or whatever. Um, but it's getting pretty close to, to my like arrival time or whatever. Um, I'm really, really excited to get get in there with with this group again or whatever. I've missed. First of all, I've missed these kids. Second of all, I've missed the staff. Second of all, I miss being able to just kind of teach. Obviously, it's like a job and we need to do well, and there's going to be like a pressure to it. And I'm personally going to be pushing myself to learn a lot about electronics this summer. Um, so it's not going to be like a complete walk in the park. But I find teaching in this environment fun, like really fun. Um, and and I'm looking forward to just having a bit of fun for, for even at least a little bit. Um, cool. Yeah, I'm going to sign off this. Um, We'll see if I turn you back on later tonight. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we got going on. Should be cool. Should be fun. Um, yeah, if there's anything else cool happening tonight, I will let you know what is up. <laughs> so, didn't end up getting any more video. Um, I got here just after 9. Uh, turns out they really weren't doing anything today. It was just some like move into Bass Strip Day or whatever. Um, but that's cool. It's chill. I just meant I got to sit and chill and hang out with uh, with the pit staff a little bit because some of them I hadn't seen well in more than a month now. So that was nice. That was chill. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here actually because uh, I want you know my drum core adventures to kind of be the start of like a next chapter like type deal or whatever. Um, so yeah, so that'll be fun. That'll be cool. I'll catch you when that happens. Until next time. Casey. Okay,